Hi, it's me again with Curl Draw Tips and Tricks. Really easy one that looks kind of difficult. And if I had it to do over, which I'm fixing to, maybe I'll do it a little bit better. I like this black instead of this one. But you just, it's a, it's a, just a new way, or at least for me to think of things. I'm going to draw a square holding down the control button. I'm going to make it two inches thick. Then I'm going to go to object and convert the outline to an object. And I'm going to left click, right click. And at this time, I'm going to control D and rotate it. And I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees because I want some space there. So I picked a good size rectangle. Then just take your virtual segment delete key and just delete these two lines. That's all you need to do. Take your smart fill tool. We're going to use this burnt orange anyway, or I am. And I'm going to click right there. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then I'm going to click right there and I'm going to leave it. I am actually going to get rid of my, I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm going to nudge them up. Because I'm working in the center of the page, I can don't need that anymore. Now on this one, I'm going to left click, right click. And I am going to take a two point line holding down the control button. So it's perfect parallel. And I'm going to put it right there. I am going to hit change my nudge factor to 0.5. And because we're going straight up and down, it'll work. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and I'm going to rotate that line 90 degrees. Whoop. I don't know why that did that. Huh. Well, let's just hit the plus key and move it out of the way and rotate it 90 degrees. So I've got something going on. Doesn't matter. We'll just draw another line holding down the control button so it's perpendicular. And we're going to put it right there. It should snap to if you have snap to on, which is right here. I've got snap to object on. And I've still got my nudge factor, so I'm going to now nudge it over that half inch. I'm going to go ahead and change my nudge factor back to 12. And I'm going to fill this in with that orange. And I'm actually going to nudge it over. Now I'm going to take the interactive fill tool, clicking on my item. And I'm going to get my interactive fill tool, and I'm going to swipe across here but I'm going to put black. I missed it. You've got to put black right in that box. Now I'm going to take this handle and put it like this. I want it. I want it perpendicular to there. That's really pretty good. Now we could copy that over, but it won't be the same. So I'm just going to click on it and just do the exact same thing. And there is a way you could, uh, whoop. there is a way you could uh, do that exactly. Um, and it here, see how it's darker? So I want it not quite as dark. And move that out, move this out. So these are your kind of like your handles. Now, I'm going to group these together. Control G. And I'm going to move them back over. And because they're the last thing I made, they will automatically be on top. Once again, I've got this one a little darker. So I'm going to ungroup it. And I'm going to grab that again. And I'm going to try to, you know, we might even be able to, wonder if we can go to effects and blur. And Gussie and blur that a little bit. No, because it's going to show some show some uh, orange on the other side. So just get your interactive fill tool back and just kind of play with it. That's a little bit better. It's not, it's not as blended as that one, but you'll get the idea. Now I'm going to take that. I'm actually going to go to the left, left, Oh, no, I'm there. I forgot I was already working right here. Now I'm going to group this together. Control G. 
Control D and duplicate it and hit alternate C, which is going to put it in our rotation. Now I have to do is you rotate it 45 degrees and look what it's doing. It's going to put, now the only thing I forgot to do to make it look a little bit more spectacular, I want those back off there. And I want to take this one and I'm going to take my interactive fill tool and I'm going to swipe across here, but I'm going to go ahead and put orange in that both ends, make them equal. I'm going to bring in a, a white and put it like roughly in the middle and then to put two oranges on both sides of it. That way to me, it kind of looks like a, a little bit of a uh, glow. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to smooth and I'm going to smooth that out. Eh, not my best work, but then I'll move these back. See, you can't you can't really do those two interactive field tools, but since we have that one on top, control G to group, control D to duplicate, alternate C, and rotate it 45 degrees. Control D, control D, control D, control D. Now it'll look really good when we put a black box around it. So I need to, you know, I'm just getting the idea. I might play with it some more. Uh, I need to do a little bit better with the interactive fill tool on the on the little black parts. But you kind of get the idea from a distance, it really looks like there's a shadow. And now that I say that, I might even try a, a shadow effect. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody a little bit. Thank you for watching.